Hi, I'm Kirsten Kelly and today's video is on proving the canter. The exercise that we're going to use today is medium canter. So we're encouraging the horse to jump forward with a big canter, round and elastic like a big rainbow, and then a subtle half halt to encourage him to shorten but elevate the stride a little bit more to help improve the canter. Remember that the canter is a three beat. So we've got the uh, inside hind leg, the outside hind leg together with the inside front, followed by the uh, outside front. And when it becomes a four beat wooden canter, instead of one, one, two, three, one, two, three, it goes one, two, three, four, and it becomes slow and wooden. So we want to do lots of exercises to help improve and keep that quality in the three beat canter. So today we're going to look at improving the canter. And when we look at the canter, it's a three beat, and sometimes it gets a little four beat and he gets a bit labored behind. So what we're going to do is an exercise to help improve that, okay? So come back, come out onto a circle here. Excellent, slow it down just a tiny bit because when the horse becomes four beat, it's because of a lack of engagement and a lack of jump. That's it, even quieter. Good girl, just try it again. That's it. Excellent. So thinking now, I want you to improve the amount of energy and jump you've got in the canter. So encourage the horse to go forward between your leg, between your hips and through your elbows. So show me a bigger canter. Ready and go. Soft elbows, soft hips, even bigger. Now when you come to shorten them, I want you to do a half halt. So remember guys, that to do that half halt, it's bracing through your core, through your obliques, and it's pulse, pulse through your fingers. There we go, let's ride some medium canter again. Think soft hips, soft elbows, and go, bang, more canter, go, more. Brilliant, now let's see a half halt. Brace your core, think grow tall, pulse, pulse through your fingers. Make him a little softer in the neck with just a rolling feeling through your fingertips. Good, let's open the canter up one more time. Ride the canter bigger, go, really big. Good, and back, but think uphill, uphill, uphill. Brace through the core, hug him with your legs so you keep creating this uphill rainbow effect over his back. That's got him a little bit excited. So you see how he's bracing on your inside leg now? Push him out and leg yield two steps. Because at the moment we've got him braced through the inside shoulder, so we need to soften his neck a little bit. Come down to a 10 meter circle around me. So we are getting the softness and the looseness back. See that immediately he softened through his neck. Leg yield out now to a bigger circle. So we've got really nice soft neck flexion now. Super. And then change the rein for me. So remembering if your canter is four beat, that we're trying to keep the horse soft through his back and soft through his neck. So it's super important that you have elastic elbows and a straight line from your elbow through to the bit so that you get a, a nice elastic positive thinking hand, not a downward pulling hand. It's also really important that you keep the hip soft. Now show me a bigger canter again, medium canter, really go. Brilliant, and half halt from the core, pulse, pulse through the fingers. I want you just to pull, okay? So go medium, great, and now just pull. So what I wanted to just show there was that if you brace through your arm, all you get is a short choppy canter rather than a softer stride. So for a horse that's particularly stuck, go large, out right round the arena, ready? And go, medium canter, good. Bring him back, hug him round your inside leg. I'd like to thank all my patrons for all your support. I really do appreciate, thanks guys.